everybody welcome to the formation of stars lecture in this lecture we will study um, the star birth in giant molecular clouds and we will study heating by contraction and we will know what are protostars evidence of star formation we will see the source of stellar energy and we will review the proton-proton chain and the CNO cycle then we will go to the stellar structure energy transport what supports the Sun what, what's inside the stars and the pressure temperature thermostats then we will go to Ori Nebula and see evidence of young stars Okay. So, this is a cloud in, uh, in the space and it's a nebula or a um, uh, dense cloud and dense clouds can be formed due to many reasons such as an a supernova or an explosion of a star an explosion of a star can form clouds. These clouds are co are, are made of um, molecular clouds, which means it's, it's not like the clouds in the sky in Earth, but it's clouds made of gases and with particles like carbon and many other elements, according to what is it formed from. So stars and protostars. Protostars are those things that are uh, the pre-birth of stars. It's the very basic and first phase in the forming of stars. So stars are formed in um, uh, from clouds, from dense clouds, and we will see why this happens. And this is, for example, a dense dark cl clouds possibly forming stars in the future, forming protostars and then stars. And these are young stars still in their ba birth nebulae. I, they're just uh, being formed. And this is an, ag an aging supergiant. And we discussed before what are the supergiant. They are huge stars. So, uh, in, in clouds, molecular clouds, you can see some parts as dark areas, like this area, it's a, it looks in the visible uh, imaging as a dark area. However, when you look at this very dense and dark area, it will look like this in the infrared. There is some sort of activity and this is caused due to the formation of protostars in this very dense area so nebulas are cool they are, they are cold they're not hot and when collisions start to happen in dense areas such as this dense area those dense areas start to heat up due to the collisions between the molecules of the uh, molecular cloud or the nebulae uh, then the temperature and pressure increases forming the protostar and we will see this in details in the coming slides so the size or the parameters of giant molecular clouds the size can be with a radius 50 parsecs and mass 100,000 mass sun their temperature is not high it's few uh, kelvins and their core the, the dense cores which form the um, uh, the, the protostars are 
of radius 0.1 parsecs and their mass are usually one mass sun. So as we said clouds need to contract and heat up in order to form stars. So in order to have a protostar there must be some uh, conditions like thermal energy caused due to the pressure and the collisions and magnetic fields and rotation angular momentum and turbulence and this can happen always due to external trigger required to initiate the collapse of clouds to form stars this is a well-known nebula called uh, horse head so one of the reasons causing the collapsing or the collision of nuclear clouds forming protostars and heating it up is caused due to shock waves and those shock waves can um, come due to uh, s uh, star supernovas and supernovas are star ex uh, an exploding star so when there is a supernova the shock waves comes and moves propagates and when it propagates goes and moves to towards the cloud the nu the the molecular cloud and then it passes by it then the the f the components of the molecular cloud starts to collapse and collide so it's it starts to change and deform and um this causes the 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 cloud not to be gravitationally stable which causes them very high collisions in the in the cloud which causes in dense parts of the cloud wi which makes which ignites the uh, the the uh, hydrogen uh, to form helium and so on the temperature be becomes so very high so this is for example uh, a nebulae where stars are being formed because it's very dense and there is a shocking wave coming towards it So, previous star formation can trigger further star formation through a shock wave from supernova explosions or massive stars. Massive stars die young, so supernova tend to happen near sites of recent star formation, and this causes the clouds to collide, as we said, and heat up. Uh, ionization fronts of hot massive O or B stars which produce a lot of UV radiation massive stars die young O and B stars only exist near sites of recent star formation another way that may cause a cloud to collapse and uh, heat up is the collision of molecular clouds because the, the molecular clouds are very massive and they are huge so they can collide together causing collisions between its particles so pressure gets higher and temperature heats up